those of you that frequent the channel, you know that old cinema is one of my favorite fighters, right, man? You know, he had some crazy knockouts over the years, man. You know what I'm saying? Like this one against Amir Khan. You know, or this one where he ran across the ring to go smack off Hanzo Gomez, you know what I'm saying? Or even the uh, build up with with Caleb Plant, you know? Don't get paid. Well, sweet hands plant, you know. Uh, so, with Canelo Alvarez, man, he has some great fights and knockouts over the years, man. So, I would have thought one of these would have been his favorite, <laughs> most enjoyable knockouts because his opponents must have made him angry for him to respond like that. But here we have old Cinnamon. So, old Canelo Alvarez reveals to us which opponent he enjoyed beating the most because they made him the most angry. He, I think he's a bad person, and I really enjoy to beat that guy. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise got to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Man, so today, I was watching an interview with, man, with Canelo Alvarez, man. He 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 revealed who his favorite uh who, who his favorite win was, or, or let's say that the, the win that he enjoyed the most, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily his favorite win, but the one that he enjoyed the most due to the opponent making him angry. And this one came out of left field for me because I forgot. Check it out right here. Was there an opponent that pissed you off? Billy Joe Saunders. That fucker. Piss me off. That's why he get what he deserve. I mean, if you think about it, it makes sense because I remember the uh, the contentious build up, you know, and a lot of trash talk between them, man. But I was just thinking that uh, off the top of my head, I was like, man, if anybody, you know, the trash talk really bothered you, you know, I would have thought it would have been Caleb Plank, you know, but they have since reconciled with, you know, the infamous motherfucker. <laughs> You remember that, right? <laughs> you remember that, that that whole exchange, but they have since reconciled and they are they're on good terms and they realize that it wasn't meant in the way that Canelo necessarily took it, you know, and uh but you know and then the way he dropped Amir Khan. Man, I was like, bro, that was a vicious knockout. You know, and then the way he ran across the ring, I'm talking about in a full sprint, like you saying bolt to go get Alfonso Gomez, you know. <laughs> I was like, bro, he had to have been angry about something. You don't chase nobody down like that, Cinnamon. What you doing, bro? But no, nah, I thought this was interesting, too, because it made me recall how uh, the exchange between him and Billy Joe Saunders, what people were saying, you know, people were saying that, oh, yeah, this, this guy's the one to beat him, and he was going to give so much trouble stylistically and all this stuff, and Canelo went in there and, and, and took care of him like he usually does, man. So, yeah, I just thought it was very interesting, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Which one is your favorite uh, of, of Canelo's knockouts or even Canelo's fights? Is not necessarily be a knockout. My favorite one of Canelo's fights... Um, it got to be the Triple G one where he was showing the Matrix slow motion head movement, man. That was that was fantastic, man. And then also I like the Floyd Mayweather fight, um, not because he lost, but because of how I seen him further his transformation uh, after the loss. Because he was already transforming into a better fighter when he fought uh, Floyd May up until the point he fought Floyd Mayweather. But after the Floyd Mayweather uh, fight, I was really impressed on how how much he seemed to learn and, and adapt and implement into his own game plan and become the beast that he is today, man. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Appreciate y'all rocking me as always. And don't forget, with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.